Welcome everybody to a first look at the isometric shooter kite. If you haven't guessed by the music, this is probably one of those 80s things we're going to see in 2018. The game has a great sound and some very interesting gameplay to it, but this is sadly an example of a game where the UI comes back to hurt it. The game also doesn't have any option of lowering the sound, so I'm going to be muting the music once we get in-game. But I just wanted you to look at this opening uh, scene that plays every time you start. Hold on. <laughs> There's those synth drums, folks. Alright. Now I'm afraid we're going to have to let the 80s music go away. One second. Alright, now I can actually talk and hear myself think. But, the game is built on set levels where our mission is to find scientists and destroy evil robots. We're apparently an android that's been built to try and keep the peace. Now there's a lot of stuff actually going on the screen right now, and Kite has surprisingly a lot of persistent elements to it. But first, I want to start the basic level, and we can look at the gameplay. So, as you can see, it definitely has that 80s look to it. But, you're probably noticing a very big problem with the UI. It's all over the place, and it's distracting from the main game. You have in the upper left time resources that we're picking up and our objective. In the bottom left you have our stats as well as some special abilities that we get. And then the bottom right you have whatever our loadout is. But this creates a very big problem. I can't see anything that's happening in the bottom left corner of the screen. Which makes it very hard to actually move that way. Now in terms of special powers, we have slow-mo, as you can see. We have two types of weapons, or two types of weapon loadouts. On top of that, we have programming options. That's the stuff you see in the bottom right that I'm flipping through right now. <laughs> and there's just a lot happening on screen. Now you're rated on rescuing people, killing enemies, and how fast you go. So if I want, I'm going to try to do things very quickly here and see if we get an A rank. So save them. Just basically always be turboing. It looks like. Get out of my way, computer. Pick that up. Go. And I'm sorry about not having the music on again, it's just very distracting to play the game with it on. Alright, let's see, did time actually matter? No, it did not. So it's going to be a lot, tr it's going to be very difficult to get an A rank, or I'm sorry, an S rank in these missions. Of course they use terms like rad. So I need 86,000 points. Now this is when the UI gets a bit annoying. As there are now mines on the field, which can be very hard to see when you're busy moving around, especially in that bomb left and bomb right corner. Now we can't kill that turn just yet. Uh oh, I'm out of shields. Uh, keep moving. Like right there. How am I supposed to see anything? Right, the power plant is done. Pick up some data banks. And now I can blow up this turret. Die. I also have a super shield I can put on. My guns are using both energy and ammo. Hope we're going the right way. Come 
one rocket launcher. Do your thing. Uh-oh. It can be very hard to kind of process what's going on due to how much the UI is busy distracting you. So there's that. I think that's everything. I oh, know we have scientists to rescue. And those mines are going off. I might be going near them. <laughs> no mini map. Did I miss something right here? Yeah, this is going to be a horrible rating, I can tell right now. But again, there's just too much stuff happening on this UI. Oh, like right here. Again, it's very easy to miss things as well, I'm noticing. How am I supposed to see what I'm shooting there? I think I missed someone up in the corner. So let's see. Where are you? I also need to upgrade these weapons, too. Oh, there you are. Yeah, this is not going to be a good rating, I can tell right now. And we somehow got an A rank for that. Okay then. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta kill everything, we gotta do it super fast. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's where the persistent elements come into play with Kite. You have your workshop, which you can upgrade and unlock new parts for your character based on the number of people you've rescued. So this is the first tier. We go up to 10, we can get to this tier. And it goes up and up, as you can see. And we get skill points over here, which can unlock things like increase our turbo, give us more energy. We haven't gotten to stage three yet. Maybe it's based on how much energy we apply? Yep, there we go. Let's see, increase bullet time. Increase four or two, let's increase our stamina. And go from there. So in order for you guys to enjoy some more of that 80s cheese, I'm gonna turn the music back on. And you can watch me blow stuff up, and I mean, make it that loud. But developers, please put in audio settings in the future. It'll make my life a lot easier. Alright, so I need to get to the generator in the upper right. Music is really good, I will say that. Ah. Damn. Gotta love that at neon purple. I'm supposed to see that guy right there. But my UI messed up like that. Hope I'm picking up good stuff there. Alright, that's one down. 
Don't blow up the power stations. The turrets will spawn. There you go. Oh. more energy, that's for sure. And I think there's one more over here. Super power, go. And we're out. I don't think there's gonna be a good rating. Oh. I don't know how I just got an A right there, folks. some amazing hair, isn't it? Alright, so now that we've saved enough personnel to go up to tier 2, we can improve things further. We can also upgrade our weapons. This is what we use already. I'm gonna craft a magnum or a flame pistol. And we come over here. What did I not upgrade yet? Yeah, let's go from that. What else can I get? Hmm. You can see the different costs as well. Alright, so we'll come back over here. Swap that out. Oh, I mean to go back to the menu. Everything equipped right now. These are the bots that can help me. There's my barrier. I think I'm good. Yep. Everything's equipped. Come back over here. Go some more. Accuracy. I think we need more energy, though. Alright. So let's see what our new weapon can do. So what are we doing here?
There you go. Now use my turbo run. I got stuck in the corner. Run! Oh, science. Can't jump through windows here, folks. I mean, the game has a great look and feel to it. But again, the UI is just so distracting. Follow the uh, exclamation points, right, folks? Well, this pistol is certainly doing the job. Where are we going now? Run. I don't think the enemies respawn. Apparently, I need to go up here. Ah, there it is. And there's our exit as well. That's out. I'll take that. And we'll wrap it up, I think, after this level. Or after this level. Done. The shield generators are out. Now we just need to blow up the tower and then the turrets. No turbo legs, go. Alright, now we can deal with these. Oh, my new flaming pistol. Yeah. If you die, you will just restart the love. You will just get you spawn back in, but you lose your scrap. I think I like the two hand weapons better. It just seems easier to kill these enemies with it. I need more energy though. Anybody over here we need to kill? Go. I think what they should have done is maybe condense the UI down, just have it all as a frame along the bot. Where's our exit? Don't. Just keep everything focused on one part of the screen for your eyes. Did I miss an S rank by like a little bit? No, we're good. Points. 
buy any other fancy stuff before we go. Let's see, we get to 20, Ooh, we get an assault rifle. Anything else I really need? Again, there's a lot of information, but it can be kind of hard to tell what's doing what. Mm. Just may be worth it to wait until we get one more person, and then we bump it up to here. Mm. Yeah, so I definitely like Kite. But again, the quality of life features, I think, are a severe determinant to the game. up, I think, after this level. I mean, the game is a lot of fun to play, that's for sure. And I do like persistence. And of course, that 80s synth music is awesome, too. Uh, you know, about the kill. Or are they other androids? There you go. Now it's Another turn here. Nice 
first part, each one of these levels, you gotta just one. Some of the tracking is intense in this game. I guess they really do want you to use slow mo powers. So then with that, I can now go to the next tier. Mm -hmm. oh. Sniper rifle or an auto cannon. <laughs> and a laser beam. I mean, the game definitely has some good stuff to it, but let me know what you think in the comments below, and if the 80s uh, synth is enough to get you interested. But, I'd like to thank the developers for giving me a press key for Kite. Be sure to check it out on Steam, and if you'd like me to look at your game in upcoming piece, be sure to get in touch. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching the video. Check back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games. I just have a synth behind whenever I'm talking, right folks? Until next time, have a good night. <laughs> Before we get to the credits, just wanted to give a quick thank you and shout out to the supporters over on patreon.com slash gwbicer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check back around 10 Eastern for regular streaming. If you like suggest games for me to cover or topics to talk about, let me know in the comments below. For a collection of my writings as well as weekly podcasts on design, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the Game Wisdom Patreon, you can find us on there on patreon.com slash gwbicer. A dollar will get you into our private Discord channel where we talk game topics and more. Five dollars will get you voting privileges for any major event, including the Saturday Night Grab Bag, Patreon-funded goals, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy more videos here on the Game Wisdom YouTube channel.